Training the horse on long rein can be done in various ways. Uh, we, we choose one way, but I've seen Frankie Slotak do another way. I've seen other riders do it in different ways. Uh, but we explain a, a small clinic here in this way. Uh, and uh, we start up, normally, we start up on a big circle, it makes the horse relax. Uh, try, try to have a long neck and a nice rhythm in the movement. I think it's especially good because you can see the horse, you can see where it puts its legs, you can see how it works, you can see how it uh, uh, have plays the neck and the stomach and the back. It's, it's, a good, it's a good way, especially with the young horse, to teach them the, the basics of the dressage work. You can also do nice gymnastic work with a small shoulder in. And you start with a bit smaller circles and you can also work the horse in canter. And uh, one very good thing is to, to start uh, with the, on the long rein is a collection work. Uh, you do the, the transitions, you start with a nice uh, shoulder in and you go to the smaller circles. Don't do it for too long and, and uh, always let the horse stretch. And a, go a good uh, control of that the work is going in the right way is that you can give the horse a long rein and you feel how he takes a nose and neck down and forward, thinking forward without running, keeping the rhythm and the balance and relaxing and then you can go back again. The horse should work from behind through the back and stomach and let the whole neck down and relax and then you also see that you get a nice supple movement. Another good aspect is to teach the horse new things without the rider. It makes it much more easy for the horse to carry itself. So, for, like, for example, transitions is very good to do in a light, nice way. The horse really thinks forward and, and works from behind and uh, through the body. And you can do it from trot to uh, walk and to walk to trot. Uh, a number of times in a nice way you can use the voice and a nice contact with the mouth. So transitions is very very good and makes the horse obedient and strong. And one thing to remember with young horses or all horses is that uh, you build them up step by step. That's very important, uh, that you don't do too much. Always think if the horse is doing a good job, say that's enough for today and you, you can continue tomorrow or the day after. Don't stress, give the horses time. If you're doing the right things, then it, they always will, will develop in a nice way. So uh, think, look, have a feeling for what you do and don't stress. Training horses should be a little bit like building a house. You put brick by brick to a solid ground and then suddenly you have a beautiful house there.